Hey guys, Aaron Tamu here, um, uh, and welcome to uh, my talk. Yay! So uh, basically, uh, we're here at Bath HQ or my house, and um, I'm just going to be going through the logistics of what's going to happen through this talk. Um, yeah, we're going to be well. By we, I mean I. Uh, I'm going to be travelling through basically the whole of South West England uh, and eventually up, well, back up here to Bath and down to London. Uh, there's, we've got a few exciting gigs all lined up for you actually. And um, yeah, I just want you to enjoy the tour um, and give you an insight into what it's like. So yeah, on with the show. Hey guys, we're in Holtby Bridge uh, in Bath. It's beautiful today, and uh, yeah, I guess this is, I'm going to be uh, just giving you a little chat before I head down southwest to our first tour date in uh, Tuff's Morton's Beer Festival. And um, yeah, I'll be doing a few gigs here in Bath, so I just kind of want to show you how beautiful this place is, including this. Uh, find some back here, hopefully you can hear me about the noise. Um, but yeah, some of the gigs we'll be doing here includes Green Park on the 13th, uh, to be frank, on the 18th called the Devon Arms, and uh, a few more, oh yeah, Bath Festival on the 27th. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd just give a little tour on how actually lush this city really is. Um, and I wish I bought sunshades, but yeah, look at these Georgian Victorian buildings. Yay! Okay, so outside the Bath Abbey, as you can see, a uh, classic busking spot right here, um, which I probably intend to go into during the tour, uh, busking hangs, where hey, and uh, I'd say buskers here are uh, like incredible, street art is like so embraced in Bath, so I'm going to be doing a lot of that over this summer because I don't have a real job, because I'm spending my entire time doing the musician's life, yay, Bath Abbey, fair. If I can get a good view of it. Right here. And if you didn't realise as well, um, behind me are the Roman baths. The reason why this place is called Bath. So, uh, yeah, Bath's got quite a bit of history. Maybe like a couple thousand years. Not too shabby. quite quiet. Um, start of the tour uh, to Newton Abbott. Here we come. And uh, tomorrow we'll kick off uh, PA somewhere back there. And there we're on a train. And, uh, I know my phone doesn't have too much storage space. I don't know how many videos I can do of me now, but, but I guarantee to take a few pictures to show you instead. Um, but yeah, Let's see how it goes. Alright, step two of the journey complete. We are now in Exeter St. David Station, or well, I'll say in outside. Um, heading towards the Newton Abbott Way for the opening gig of the tour and uh, yeah I'm just waiting on my lift there waiting on my lift and apparently the trains here <laughs>
Thank you very much for having me. That's what I'm talking about. You're supposed to be doing this. Say bro. bye. Hey, bye. cheers. Woo. There we go. Okay, here we are. Green Park Market, destination number three of the tour. It's pretty well picked. It's our stage up there. Some random band I don't know are playing on it right now. I'll be up there in like 20 minutes. So, And I don't feel awkward laughing even though I've always hated that sound. And although you don't like noodles, I you make me come back around. So don't put me on hold, hold, hold. Oh my god, the chasing. Oh my god. Okay. Aftermath. Court date number three. But still. If I look behind me, there's still actually quite a lot of people here, which means I must have done a good job. Yes. <laughs> yeah, sure. What did you think? Like, it was really good. It's it amazing. Really good. Oh, thanks, buddy. I'll take that. Honestly, when you're everywhere, I was like. <laughs> <laughs> so much, man. That'd be luck. See, it clearly must have gone well. Time you like. Okay, coming into stop number one of the journey, Bristol Temple Meet. Uh, we should be getting onto platform 10, I think, for the southwest. And that was a rather loud bang, so ignore it. Upwards and onwards. We are in Exeter and you can see me swaying in out of the picture because I'm on a sleepy chair and we are at Absurd Burger Bar. Gonna tuck in. The burger is, uh, I can get a good angle on this. Already dead. I will remember. Knife. And uh, I'm gonna eat so we'll catch you in a bit. Okay. Gig number four? I think it's number four. America Hall. Looks reasonably American, right? I don't know what an American building looks like. You've got to have a This is the uh, chill room. Giant domino set here. I'm really good at that game, actually. Might join in. Oh, yeah. And do you want tea or coffee? Um, cup of tea would be lovely. <laughs> See, we even get cups of tea around here. Drop this on the table. Don't know if we're allowed in here. Not gonna bother. Yeah. America Hall. Seems a relatively small venue. But it's gonna be quite an intimate gig today, shall we say. Okay. So, just leaving America Hall. Uh, had a good set, and I'm going straight into a taxi. Welcome to gigging life. Straight back up to Bath for gig number five. And uh, this is our taxi driver. Say hello. All right. <laughs> yes, I am all right. <laughs> and uh, 
off we go. Woo. So, made it back up from Devon into Bath. We're here at the Devon Arms. We're sounding busy. Just about to uh, head on stage in a little bit. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a great night. Q spoken word gig number two. I don't know, actually. I've been to quite a few different events. But yeah, gig number five of the tour, anyway. And we're going to see how it goes. Some gay seed and gossip. So people in the street always seem to look past me. I grew up in my teenage years, chilling late with a squad, looking hard with my ginger beard tucked in my hand. Others on the D pad just caught a shiny magic card. Go mad. <laughs> <laughs> Stairway to set I have a nice crowd with me, and one of them's uh, off a few minutes home. So uh, this is the win about doing gigs like this. This is a little piece of what the Devon's on about. There were more people when I was performing. Thank you to the Devon Arms. I'll be heading yeah, back out. <sighs> so uh, we're back. Halfway stage report of Bath HQ. Uh, just woke up from the gig at the Devon Arms and the America Hall yesterday. Um, tired. Two gigs in a day. So it feels like the halfway stage because now I'm going back down uh, to uh, start on a new exciting project which uh, I've just been put on is called the Sound Art Project where I'll be travelling around um, with one of my friends uh, to essentially do music workshops for like underprivileged children um, and that'll be taking place in four different schools I'll be going to four different schools essentially and I'll be bringing you some more exciting stuff uh, London will be coming up soon Really looking forward to that. Um, uh, what else will be happening? Yeah, the signed art projects will be happening. Uh, wedding. I've got a wedding that I can showcase to you guys, which would be awesome. And a few others that I can't think of the top of my head. But yeah, this is my half stage report. And now I can treat you guys to some more footage of touring. So, woo! Signing out. We are in Bow. Um, we don't know where the next place is. And we also drove past a burger place and I really want a burger. Yeah, we're looking at burgers and they all look. There's a pub. That's not a pub actually. There's I'm surprised we got here without much help with the navigation. <laughs> yeah, we're just kind of like improvising. It's pretty much our whole set as well. <laughs> Lol, no. So we have arrived at our next destination, gig number seven or eight. And uh, I got a visitor's tag because I'm special. And we are at Bow School.
Whoa! Look at all that PA. Not as many spans, but a lot. And now we're going to. Ladies and gents, my wonderful, wonderful couch surfing bed. Being quiet to not wake people up. It's quite early. Uh, soon we'll be on our way to geeks number nine and ten of the tour, I think. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to show you how much where I stayed. It's my little B and B essentially. Have well, tip for the tour: have friends up and down the country. Or up and down, just where you want to go, so you can couch surf. Cheap accommodation, <laughs> and it's good accommodation. You get five star treatment. Love the size. And yeah, so shout outs. To oh. Okay, hi guys. Uh, I'm back. We are on a train to Exeter, and I'm going to give a bit of a travel advice. Um, don't get on the train last, or else you won't get a seat. Uh, another bit of travel advice, um, don't carry your MacBook in a floppy clothes bag because it might get lost at train stations and you might have to alert security and then be really annoyed for the rest of the day like I am right now. Um, yeah, it's kind of like a frustration venting clip. This is the space that I'm going to be on. Minuscule, but it's going to work. And this is Box Who's here currently, and uh, we're going to buy in what? I don't know exactly, but opening song request. Uh, can't help falling in love with you, Elvis. Of course, have it in there, isn't it? Naturally predicted. I am a god. Couldn't actually get footage of the cake because I'm an idiot and left my phone. But I'm going to the reception after because, you know, we've got to celebrate weddings and a bit of party and of course, right? As it turns out, we're ordering drinks at the reception. And believe it or not, this drink right here is called a wet pussy. I don't understand why it's red, <laughs> but it's not a promising sign. Two to the one, to the one, to the three. I like good pussy and I like good tree. Smoke so much weed you wouldn't believe, and I get more ass than a toilet seat. Everyone needs a bit of love in their lives. Last stages of the tour, and I am in, well, nearly in London, on the way into London. <laughs> We're at, if I can waddle over here. Can't read that properly, really, can you? Canterbury, supposedly. And, uh, solo acts never go alone, really. Got my mate with me Hello. here. Hello. Couple other friends who don't want to be seen. We've got this mound of a hoodie. We missed our last train, so we're getting this one. Um, and today I'll be playing at a little uh, gaming tournament. <laughs> the second, second biggest in uh, Europe for Smash? Yeah. Yeah, second biggest one. Nice gig. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Josh! Uh, <laughs> he's doing it again, guys. No one can hear you call the other peeps. <laughs> what do you have to say? Uh, not much. Not much. Go, going into London. We're at uh, one of the venues in the Bridge Academy. I'll be playing in the upstairs section in the cafe area. Um, there's quite a few setups around here. Uh, got arms in the background. You see my mate's currently on it right now. Say hi. Camera better not be on, Aaron. <laughs> it's not, don't worry. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> this is 
with Max. He's uh, losing right now. Yep. Getting, <laughs> yeah, I'm about to get wrecked bombed. by this DK. Yeah, I can't believe you put that back in your pocket before you jumped in. I know, that was a really oh, dumb move, wasn't yeah. it? We were on a little while ago. We were, we were um, messing around by the river in Archery. And uh, we, we've been in the river for like 20 minutes. Then I've got up to uh, like, look at his phone and then put it back in his pocket. You know, it was really This is my busking competition. Crazy weekend in London. Um, back on the coach, on the way back to Bath. Um, yeah, and it's been really quite an amazing weekend actually. Performing and just being out in the streets. It's like, the culture here is insane. And I guess part of what's made this tour so good is the amount of things you can learn here and uh, the amount of sights you get to see. Um, I for one really enjoyed it and um, getting my Oyster card stuck in the ticket barrier was something I will not want to do again. Life lessons get learned. I hope you enjoyed my little tour adventure. Um, I think I'm going to wrap it up. I have more gigs booked throughout the summer but um, uh, I think for now the tour is just going to end here. So. Thank you for watching. Trailblazing, starlit phantom